Hello, I'm Thomas Adrianson with NCSI, and today I'm going to teach you how to integrate Avanti neurons for ITSM with Teams using Deep Links. As you can see here in our demo tenant, we've got two buttons, Call with Teams and Chat with Teams, that will allow you to open direct calls or chats with the selected customer. We can also have this on our employee object, where we can have a call via Teams and chat via Teams button on their employee record. So I'm going to show you how to build this in my lab environment where these actions don't exist yet. And then we'll come back here to the demo tenant where I can show them working with actual users. So over here on my lab tenant, we're going to open the app in console. And we're going to start with the incident quick actions. So we're going to navigate to business objects incident. We're going to open up our quick actions. And we're going to create a new action. We're going to create a composite action. We're going to start with the call with Teams quick action. The first thing we're going to add is a UI action, where the scope will be application, command ID will be open window. We're not going to have a confirmation. Uh, and then in our command data, we're going to put a specific syntax here. We will put in this. So this is going to be the URL. It's going to be https teams.microsoft.com slash L slash call slash zero zero. And then we're going to get into our parameters. So the use the user's parameter, we're just going to grab the email variable from incident. Uh, I put in some options here, target equals blank to open it in a new pop-up window and give that new window a width and a height. So we will publish this. Oops, publish this to all and automatically save. And then I also like to append an insert child object where we are going to select uh, a journal note. So we're going to do incident contains journal. Give me a second here. Incident contains journal dot notes. Uh, where we're going to do a category of called customer. We're going to do subject. And from here, you can put whatever. So for subject uh, and the notes body, we're going to put the same thing called customer. So you could also have use a prompt in here. So you could uh, say prompt, please enter call notes as, uh, and they can enter those call notes as you're typing. But I'm going to automatically populate that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that as a quick action. And then just to make things easier, we're going to clone this. We're going to say chat with teams. And so this is going to be a little bit different on the URL. Let me grab this and then I'll walk over the syntax with you. And I'll replace that with this syntax. So the only thing that's really different here uh, is that we have the option to include a topic. So our first uh, parameter here, users, where we can grab that email. Oops. And then you can do an and topic name uh, equals. And then from here, you can do whatever you want uh, to show up in that chat as you open the chat with the person. So from here, I'm going to say chat with uh, ITSM via incident and grab that incident number. Uh, and there's just a percent 20 between each of these words, right, for the space. And then we're going to grab the subject from here. Uh, and I'm going to say chat initiated from an ITSM by, I'm going to grab the current user's display name and the same thing, uh, open up a new pop-up window with some options for width and height. So I'll leave that up so you can pause that video there if you want to grab that syntax. We'll publish this to all. And then we'll save that. Okay, so from here, we can now go into our layout. Uh, and I'll just put them here in the toolbar just to make it easier. Uh, but you can go into the form and you can drag on command buttons uh, and populate it with those actions, but this will essentially be the same thing. So we're going to do a uh, call with teams and we're going to do 
chat with teams. We're just going to drag those to the toolbar. And you can grab little icons if you want and populate those with those just like we did on the button. So if we refresh this, we go into an incident. <clears throat> And we come into this incident, we'll now see our call with teams and chat with teams button in the toolbar. So as long as this email is valid in your Microsoft Teams, this will open up a chat or a call with that person uh, in a new pop-up window. It will actually also prompt you to open up the application. So if you already have the application open, uh, it should just populate over in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we are actually going to do the employee ones and the employee ones are a little bit different. Uh, we are actually going to need to create fields on here. So we're going to create two fields We're going to do a uh, click to call with uh, click to call teams. And this is going to be an HTML field. And we'll add a second new field. Same thing. Click to chat teams. Click to chat teams. This will be an HTML field. Add this and save. All right. The next thing we're going to do is create oops, our business rules to populate those HTML. So we're going to expand our editing and calculation rules, and we're going to add an editing rule. <clears throat> I apologize, that's going to be a calculation rule, sorry. So the field that we are going to calculate on is our click to call teams. Our condition will be always, and then we're going to also recalculate on load. That way it populates uh, this for all of your existing users. And so the code, the expression we're going to use here is a uh, HTML expression. So we're going to open up this. We're going to add in a table, uh, a row, and a cell. I'm going to specify whatever font that I want uh, that to be displayed in. But here's the important part. Uh, we're going to put in that same syntax there. Uh, and then it's going to be a little bit different to get the values. So we're going to end that quote, add a plus, and then grab the primary email field, and then end that quote. Then however you want to end, uh, want this to show up on the window, what verbiage you want, end the link, and then end all of the rest of your HTML text. So we're going to leave this up for a second so you can pause. And then we'll go and add another calculation rule for our click to chat. Again, same thing. We're going to do always also recalculate on load. And then on the click to chat, very similarly, we're going to add in our table, uh, row, column, font, same link, except here we're going to grab the primary email. We're going to add in a comma, and then we're going to add in the current user email, which is you. And then we're going to add in our verbiage, chat with teams, and the table in the HTML in there as well. Pause there. If we save that, now we can put those fields onto our employee record. So if we go into our layouts, we go into our profile employee form. Edit our details. We'll drag in our click to call under the primary phone and our click to chat. Should we drag our extension back right here? But these we are going to now make HTML viewers. 
and you have the option to hide these labels if you want. Now, as I come here and I open up this incident, and I go to the record, it should auto calculate and populate these call via teams and chat via teams buttons. So let's go back to our demo tenant with actual users and I'll show you how these work. So in this instance, we've got Jonathan here. So I'm going to click to chat with him. What this is going to do is it's going to pop out a new window here. It may ask you to sign in, but it will also, if you have your teams open, it will come out and populate this conversation here. So we've grabbed our uh, chat topic, our incident, our incident number, uh, the subject of this, and then who initiated the chat. Uh, you don't have to do this topic if you don't want to, that's optional, but I like to do it there uh, as well. You also alternatively have the option to use the web app, uh, which if you click that, would open the web portal uh, here so that you can chat with them directly on the web portal. And it will populate that same topic in here. On the call with Teams, if you click that button, it's going to ask you again, do you want to use the web app? But if you have your Teams app open, you'll just be prompted to start a call, place a call to Jonathan Cook. I can start that call, and here we'll see that I'm calling Jonathan. <clears throat> again, you can use that web app or you can use the Teams app if you already have it open, but it just simplifies calling or chatting with that customer if you don't have a chat with them currently directly from your answer ITSM. We will provide those syntaxes down in the description as well to make it a little bit easier for you guys. And we hope that you enjoy this Teams integration with Nuance for ITSM. Thank you for watching. This is Thomas Adrianson with NCSI.